Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on sepsis. Sepsis is the life-threatening organ dysfunction, caused by an abnormal and uncontrolled host response to an infection. It is the leading cause of death in intensive care units, and has an overall mortality of 30 to 40 percent. There are two criteria both required for a diagnosis of sepsis. Presence of a known or suspected infection, and having clinical features of organ dysfunction, which can be quantified using the SOFA score. For a patient with a known or suspected infection, a SOFA score greater than or equal to 2 indicates sepsis. This table shows the criteria in the score, which include partial pressure of oxygen, platelet levels, bilirubin levels, mean arterial pressure, GCS score, creatinine levels, and urine output. The Q-SOFA score is a shortened version of the full SOFA criteria. It was developed to allow for the rapid assessment of potential sepsis, based purely on clinical signs. Any patient with a known or suspected infection and a Q-SOFA score of 2 or more should be investigated and managed for sepsis as necessary. The criteria are based on respiratory rate more than 22 per minute, altered mental state, and systolic blood pressure less than 100. For any patient diagnosed with sepsis, immediate investigation and management steps are vital. These steps are commonly referred to as the sepsis 6 and should be completed within one hour of diagnosing sepsis. Give oxygen supplementation, IV fluid therapy, fluid bolus, and fluid maintenance. Take blood cultures prior to administering antibiotics, along with any other relevant cultures from the suspected infection site. Start empirical antibiotics based on local guidelines, before switching to targeted therapy after culture result is out. Routine bloods should include full blood count, urea and electrolytes, liver function test, clotting, CRP, and glucose. Lactate can be assessed rapidly from a blood gas analysis. Lastly, monitor the urine output. Ensure that your seniors are involved early in the care of these patients. Ask the nursing staff to take hourly observations and to inform you if there is any deterioration of the patient. Further management may include assessment by intensive care teams and starting vasopressor agents, renal replacement therapy, or ventilator support, wherever necessary. The common sources of pyrexia in a surgical patient can be remembered using the 7C chest infection, cut wound infection, catheter-causing urinary tract infection, collections in abdomen or pelvis, calves deep vein thrombosis, cannula infection, and central line infection. Identification of the infection source is important in the investigation of sepsis cases. Appropriate investigations may include urine dipstick plus minus culture, chest x-ray, swabs for wounds, operative site assessment via CT or ultrasound imaging, cerebrospinal fluid sample via lumbar puncture, or stool culture. Involvement of intensive care teams should be considered when there is evidence of septic shock, lactate level more than 4 mmol, or failure to improve from initial management. A serious condition of sepsis is septic shock. Septic shock is defined as sepsis with hypotension, despite adequate fluid resuscitation, or requiring the use of enotropic agents to maintain a normal systolic blood pressure. Management usually involves aggressive fluid resuscitation and antibiotic therapy, with the likely involvement of the critical care team. Inotropes are often used to maintain organ perfusion. That's all for this video. Thank you.